Hey, August 25th, um, 2010. Sun setting. Um, hey, got my Canadian water jug. You know, today on CNBC, a guy called uh, David Rosenberg finally called, said it's a depression, and it was on uh, CNBC that it was, came out one of, of one of his blogs. So, of course, I was reflecting on that, and uh, I thought, you know, some of my long-term viewers, or if you go over to my first video, which talks about uh, U.S. economic collapse and the second coming of Jesus Christ, um, you know, it's not me. It's that I pay attention to inside information. Sure, I'm an economist, and I've studied it in depth for 25 years, but there's thousands and millions of people, thousands and thousands that have done that. A lot of about very high paying jobs on Wall Street. What's the secret? The secret is inside information, not from corporations, but from above, from God. God's no respecter of persons. He really uh, doesn't matter what religion, what country you're from, but if you can try the best you can, realizing that uh, nobody's perfect, do the best you can, but if you include Him in your decisions intelligently, then uh, if God is super intelligent, which he is, more intelligent than all of us combined, he exists. People that ignore God ignore a massive amount of truth. Or, I mean, it's just, uh, to me it's not logical. It's completely illogical to ignore, ignore God. But if you integrate your knowledge of what you learn on this earth, on this planet, with with things that you can learn from God, from the Bible, other scriptures, or, or nature, or science. You know, whenever you're learning truth, you're learning from God, because God is, is truth. That's what he is. And, uh, you know, so I, I was like watching the full moon last night, and I was, I was up on a mountain looking at Utah Lake, and thinking about how pure Utah Lake was probably when the Indians were there. I was floating on Utah Lake on a surfboard, and looking at the full moon, and just kind of thinking. It was good to kind of think. I thought, you know, it's kind of, it is ridiculous that uh, the banking system and, you know, debt controls our, our lives, our economy. It's really pretty ridiculous because the sun comes up, the moon's out, uh, still rains, water's growing, but we've become part of this system, part of this matrix, and people are just in it, and, and now it controls, controls your life whether you know it or not. And uh, I guess when you can't buy anything, then you'll find that out. But I was reflecting back on Cleon Scouse and, you know, setting the Constitution back in 87. Uh, 5,000 year leap, I had that book back in 87, was handing it out to people. And uh, one of his books uh, about the Bible, the first 2,000 years, super fascinating. And then The Making of America. It was kind of fun, I had Cleon, worked with him for a little bit, but there he signed it back in 1987. Brent Long, with affectionate regards and deep appreciation for all your help in the cause of freedom, sincerely, W. Cleon Skousen. Everybody, it's about freedom versus tyranny, freedom versus control. Follow your instincts. Figure out uh, where you're going to go if uh, the crap hits the fan. If you're going to be in a city or maybe in a rural, self-sufficient place. Time to think about it. It's going downhill fast, and even the mainstream media is talking about it. So, um... Get into the mind of God. Think independently. Think for yourself. Perception isn't reality. Reality is reality. And why not understand reality? Hope to meet some of you on my trip. I'm going to be Highway 80 through Elko, Winnemucca, Roseville. Hope to meet some people maybe in the Sacramento area, San Francisco area. And then I'm going to go to Santa Cruz. I'm going to the beach in Santa Cruz before it gets cold. So if you want to meet me, just email me at manoftruth at mac.com. And uh, I would love to meet some, some more of you out there. <clears throat> Had a wonderful trip to Toronto, back east. Fantastic YouTubers out there. Hope to meet some more fantastic YouTubers on this trip. Um, and I love a lot of you. I try to love everybody. But uh, things are getting very intense. And they're going to continue to accelerate at a massively rapid pace. Follow your instincts. <laughs>
Cool. So beautiful place here. Gorgeous day. And I'm thinking big picture. So, I traveled pretty far to get here. Let's see, Utah to Boston and up through upstate New York and all the way here. So probably several thousand miles. Even more kilometers. And, um... So as far as big picture goes, I didn't realize how beautiful Canada is in this whole area. Um, but life's about relationships. Unless, uh, get the thing open. This is a really good book. I, I have this for, for the United States and the Rocky Mountains, Western United States. And here's one for Canada. Um, and I also have these books for the United States. Here we go. North America, I actually have that one. And, uh, Peterson Field. For me, it's really interesting to come up here and see so many beautiful things growing. One of my favorite ones that I've talked about before, but there's Doc. Sometimes the leaves in Utah or later on in the year will be really large and they taste delicious. Um, one of my favorites is Yarrow, which grows, here it is right here, grows all over the place. And Yarrow um, has a distinctive smell and you can use it for, uh, for nosebleeds. You need to put it right here, or you can stick it right in your nose, and it stops nosebleeds very quickly. You can read about that in medicinal plants. And this is mayweed, and uh, hmm, we've got a couple of teas here, mayweed and also chicory. I'm not that familiar with these because these are up here in Canada, but I've seen them in my books. I'll put that back right there. And then one of my favorites, clover. And a lot of, one thing, a lot of flowers are edible and taste delicious. I, um, these clovers here are just huge. So clover flowers, roses, if they're not sprayed, I love, frankly, eating rose flowers. So a lot of flowers are really delicious. So I recommend getting a, a book. One of these United States, get Indian books for your local, local areas. And uh, once again, learn 10 or so edible plants. Um, they're super healthy, they're natural, and they're not hybrid. So take care, everybody, and ciao. Hi, the G20 is over, but um, let's see. Let's to I'm glad to be here. The financial ramifications of what's going to happen uh, with the G20 agreements are worldwide, worldwide ramifications. So I'm going to talk specifically about the new capital requirements, the reserve requirements, but in essence, when there's higher capital requirements on banks, what happens? And it's so real beautiful here, by the way is um, that tightens the money supply. That means less lending, which means economic contraction. So even though most economists want expansive economic policies, when banks raise their capital requirements, there is less money to lend. Less money to go into the fra fractional reserve banking system, which many of you know about. But, so in essence, there's gonna be tightening, deflation for right now, and worldwide depression. Okay, more later. CP24, that's it. CP24. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's totally perfect. There's Brooks Brothers suits. That's like totally the banker's suits. Deloitte, the accounting firm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna do a zoom in on that. May 1670. Wow. Wow. Thank you. That was perfect. Wow. Look at that screen there. That's high def. That's that's the biggest high def screen I've ever seen. Well, that's a big screen. Look how, like, yeah. Have you seen one bigger? That's Tokyo has one. I mean, I've been there. Like, well, okay, I'm sorry. It's not in person. No. Oh, I'm, oh, whoa, whoa. Look at this. This is like Times Square or something. Yeah, this is kind of, this is Dundas Gosh. Square. What's what, Dundas? Dundas. This is where the spring is, isn't it? Dundas. This is totally cool. Whoa, whoa, this is nice. Huh? Like our Tina, nice square. Oh yeah, yeah. Xerox Tower. Xerox Tower? Yeah. Whoa. Rochester at night. What do you know? Upstate New York. You almost think you'd be in Manhattan, but nope. We're way up by Canada. Up. Rochester. Corn. The corn belt. Wow, it's just amazing how much corn is out here. Really, really amazing. Wow. Wow. The more that you understand life, the more you the closer you get to God, the larger your capacity for love. What a beautiful, serene area. place to see God is for sure. How nice to be completely by myself. Yeah, the financial markets seem pretty far away right now. I hope you like some of that footage of crossing America. I love this country. Um, unfortunately, it's not governed correctly right now, and so there's going to be a cathartic change. So prepare for it. Prepare for it. I try to love everybody. Hope to meet some other people out on my trip to California. 
and uh, you know, you might have a place in the city and maybe uh, thoughts of getting a place in the country or somewhere that's a little more self-sufficient, independent. Some of you are already out there. Time to act on those thoughts. Time to, you know, get a place that's maybe a little more out in the country, a little more geared towards self-sufficiency. Hope to meet some more people on this trip. And then when I get back, I will uh, ship the rest of the DVDs that get ordered. Uh, while we still... Well, everything's still rocking, but I really anticipate that shipping DVDs will be a thing of the past two years from now, and maybe sooner. Uh, so much is happening. So much is happening. That's why I get into it on the DVD I just sent out. And wouldn't you rather know reality than to have all this BS that's taught to you on, on the airwaves? Wouldn't you rather have reality? Think independently. God exists. Um... Get directly in touch with them. Go on a mountain. Go on a mountain. I'm on a mountain right now, but get on a mountain. Climb a mountain. Get out by the ocean. Change your everyday pace. Don't be a slave to the everyday thing that you're in. Think big. Think big. Think happy. And uh, get prepared. Get prepared. I love you all. Take care. Rock on. Ciao.